welcome to Go West Comedy. I am Simone Hudson. We're having our upcoming show in September 14th at Aha. We're doing a quick fire interview with our headliner, Rohit Bhatia. Yay, Hello. it's me. Welcome, welcome everybody. Ah. It's like at the end of each question. Do you want me to do that? I, I love it. It's, it's great. It's 10 bucks extra. Okay. Oh. Oh, just a few questions. You ready? Yeah. Come a little closer. You produce a few shows around town. Tell us which ones. That would be nice. Well, several. I am also doing some shows with Comedy Cafe now. I work with them in their programming committee. And uh, I do this show called Revolver. It's been happening for six years. It's a very feminist show because there's a vulva in Revolver. And several other shows here and there. Yes. I did one show in Shawnabag. Did you know? No. No. Well, what a great friend you are. Do it. Oh yeah, you know what? Somebody else had also asked me this like, mm. in another interview because I'm so interviewed these days. You know, everybody interviews me. Simone, the police. I mean, uh, you know, previously it was a different thing because I was, I am an immigrant in uh, Germany and I was not given any, you know, substantial visa and it was like living from visa extension to visa extension yeah. and that's how I got into all this. But nowadays I do comedy for a different reason. Nowadays I do comedy for the same plain reason that if I don't do this, several worse comedians will start doing this here because you know it's an open economy so i do this as to help people like okay. you to get people to laugh that's brilliant mm -hmm. that moves on to the next one then you've had a lot of different careers in your lifetime a musician a criminal a journalist is there something else we don't know about you well there are a lot of things you don't know about okay. me sure. and you don't know them about me because you're not supposed to know them <laughs> Okay, some other careers that, that we won't talk about. Okay, moving into a comedy career, how's that movement from musician, journalist, comedian? Look, I mean, it's ultimately comedy involves a lot of writing, and you know, that comes if you are a journalist, you have to do that also, you know, uh, reporting, like being objective about things, having it in perspective. So it has helped. I wouldn't, wouldn't yeah. say that if, you can't be very funny in a crime report or something unless it's like, you know, about a right winger getting exploded by a dynamite that he was hiding in his bath. So that would be funny. Obviously different sort of writing and writing is not everything. I mean, it's a lot about delivery and performance. Rohit 101. What I enjoy really is the intensity. <laughs> Lovely Ben McLean, our ben. co host, accent Ben. He has been to Bombay and met your mum. Yes, this became a very, very famous story in the comedy scene. And you know, like every good Indian mum, my mum asked Ben why he's not married. And I had to interject. <laughs> had to explain he lost his ring. You know, this is one thing you can talk, do when you're in India and you want yeah. to divulge the topic. Just start talking about food. Don't stop talking That's about my, food. That's my, I'll be very good at that then. Yeah. Has your mum seen your comedy? <laughs> Yes, and she has also criticized it. Like, she has all the right to do this because my mother is my first stage coach. When I was in school, my mother taught me to dance. And she taught the entire class to dance. That's good. So, uh, so, 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 you know, she came and then she saw me in one English performance and one German performance. And then she saw, uh, she gave me some notes that, you know, you slouch too much, you know, you probably should have a better breakfast. You're weak. <laughs> Did she come in on your actual jokes? I mean, jokes are all, you know, subjective and yeah. also obviously she doesn't understand any German. But she, she, you know, gave me a little bit of feedback on my stage, uh, what do you say, appearance and, you know. Presence, yeah. yeah. One more thing. What is your favorite queer musician? Uh, well, I don't know, Jimi Hendrix, but uh, you, we are not sure whether he was queer or not queer. I really also enjoy Elton anyway. John. Elton uh, John, yeah. Yeah, perfect. but then also I'm a bit older, you know. So in my time, we there were a lot of uh, queer musicians, mm -hmm. but they were, had not come out as queer. So we don't know. After, uh, I'll root for Freddie Mercury because he's Indian, uh, or at least he was born in India. Then also there is uh, Elton John, there's a very nice uh, jacket. You know, yeah, like it does. Yeah. And jacket. also he's got this very good song called Tiny Dancer. Is, did he write it himself? Or is it not a sure. classic song? I don't know, then? he had his friend that wrote for him. Yeah. Okay, so his friend. So these two guys, Elton John and his friend. Yeah. And Freddie Mercury. And I don't know, Jimi Brilliant. Hendrix also. Well, uh, well, our show's coming up on the 14th of September. We're going to have a lip sync. And it's going to be super fun. We've got Rohit and uh, two other performers. And we're really looking forward to seeing you. Yeah. Please come down at AHA on September 14th.